Hi, I'm Wes. I'm with Archways and Ceilings Made Easy. We've shown you videos on how to measure, how to install, and today we're going to show you how to drywall. But before we get started, we always suggest using a double layer of quarter inch flexible drywall. It's quick and it's easy. However, if you want to use half inch, we're going to show you tips along the way to get that to bend. So come in guys, let's get ready to drywall the ceiling. Here's a quick tip. Using quarter inch flexible drywall, all you gotta do is bend it up and put it into place. There's no secret here, it's flexible. If you're using half inch or quarter inch, you may have to wet the back. What you wanna do is just simply soak it down, wait about 10 minutes, and then repeat the process. You are now ready to hang drywall. The barrel vault we are drywalling is a half circle. It is framed in a boxed in ceiling. The drywalling method you'll see today will work for any barrel vault of any size and curvature. Step one is to measure the curve length of the barrel vault to see what width you'll need to cut the drywall to. As you can see, the curvature of the barrel vault we are drywalling is longer than 48 inches. So we will not need to cut the width of the first panel of drywall as the standard panel is only 48 inches. Step two. Measure the length of the barrel vault to determine what length you'll need to cut the drywall to. If your barrel vault is longer than 96 inches, then simply use multiple panels of drywall and then cut the last panel to length. Step 3. Transfer the measurement to the drywall and cut it to length. Step 4. Align the drywall to the barrel vault and firmly press it up against the curvature. Once the drywall is pressed flush up against the barrel vault, then step 5 is to screw the drywall into place. When you come to the end of the barrel vault, an end piece of drywall must be cut to fit up against the barrel vault. Step 6. Take the measurements of the end profile every few inches apart. Step 7. Copy these measurements to a piece of drywall and cut it out. Step 8. Hold the drywall end piece in place and screw it into the framing. That's it. All you need now is a little tape, a little mud, and a little paint. We're archways and ceilings. We make it easy every step of the way. 